Welcome back to the Vans U.S. Open of Surfing here at Huntington Beach. And we're live with a head-to-head matchup, Chris Amore versus Paige Harab. And we're getting straight into action. So many names for you. While we're gone, this happened, Strider. Carissa muscled her way into this corner and just went straight to belting the lip. That was authority right there. Look at this. Boxes out her opponent and then blasts off the top. So pushing really hard. Big number, 6-3-3 on the opener. I think probably, I mean, I've said it before, the most sound surfer on tour. She's got the whole game. Here's Carissa backing up that 6.33. And she is looking fired up. Finds a little wedge and gets three turns in there. And the win you were talking about that Chris is coming off of with some momentum was a qualifying series event. We had Oceanside, the Supergirl Pro. And uh, yeah, maybe that, that is a little, you know, kickstart. Comes off the bottom and just goes straight into a perfect place in the lip. And this is a six point ride. So she gets a combination of maneuvers on this wave that, you know, where she waited for it, just like the first wave. What's it gonna take, like, truly to be able to do that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, no mistakes, you know, it's, and, and it's so easy in these sort of conditions to make mistakes, like little falls here and there. I, I had one wave in the beginning where I fell, and I think that's just kind of unacceptable, but everyone makes mistakes really well. But yeah, um, just concentrating on these next few events and uh, planning on having fun and keeping my role going. That interview will catch up with, with those rides, and on the bottom of the screen, those tick, the ticker shows you all the matchups we've had so far and what we're looking forward to. We've got one more heat after this. Six, six heats in this round. Paige Harab live action. A couple of taps there. Have you ever had a rib injury? Because have, it's, yes. it's hard to come back from that one. You lie yep. on a surfboard. You lie on the surfboard. Here we go. Carissa and just dies off the back. No harm, no foul. Up and out. But yeah, the rib injuries, you can't sleep with them, you can't surf with them, you can't really breathe with them. Right, right at the beginning of the heat and not putting herself in that mental situation where she's going to have to come back. But Paige Harrop, is this her comeback? Nice snap there. Looks for to tuck in when she probably... She was actually trying to hit the lip after that. I think she, was, she went to bottom term, but it was coming down too quick. Uh -huh. Paige Harrop's got priority. She's going to use it. Let's see what she's got for us. Nice double up section here. Floats through there and... Oh! That was not what the doctor ordered right there, Kaipo. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate for Paige Harrop right there, because that wave looked like it had oh. a lot of opportunity on it. Wedge, left-hander, and no opportunity for Chris Moore. Paige Harrop is going to stroke out as fast as she can and try to regain priority and salvage this heat against the three-time world champ. You're saying that there's a chance. I'm going to say there's a chance. Here we go, Chris Moore, staying busy on a right-hander and just looking sharp. Oh. I mean, the surfing, and you know what? This that, was a, that was a ninja whip. I mean, that was so precise. Vincing victory, getting the really good mental state so she can get back on a roll at the end part of the year. Watch here. how clean this little snap is, though. Beautiful. I mean, you know, when she whipped the board over the top, she brought it right down underneath her hips. She has that fast little up under the hood, like she just blows that tail out. So she's going to look really good on those, these little running rights, and we'll see. Chris on one now, it looks like. Running right, or maybe not for Carissa Moore. She kicks out. Much to their dismay, the little girl would come out. She was very far ahead of time, live action. Quick one for Paige Harab to see if she can somehow slowly dig herself out of this hole that she's sitting in. Do you still feel like there's a crack in the door? You think that she's going I'm gonna to go, I'm gonna go open? Glass Optimistic. half full. Yeah, why not? Chris. See how smart Carissa is, though? She saw that. Kicked out right away and know that she wants to have priority. Carissa's not going to leave the door. It gets down into the tail end of the heat where priority really plays in. And we see that utilized to the fullest. A couple of tacks off the top there for Paige Hera, but that wave just looked like it didn't have much juice behind it and really enable her to engage that rail and carve through that and get a vertical approach on it. So that's um, not going to help her cause. Open for this little left to rear up, and it does. Doubles up nicely. Bangs it through the lip there. She's going to get a little inside section, and surprised that she didn't kind of keep with that cut back and try to get over that curb. And there wasn't much in busy. that one, Kipes. Oh, some opportunity in that wedge yeah, right It was there. maybe in the, for the one turn. Carissa Moore, up, out. 
Four minutes, 50 seconds. We got a couple of waves coming through. Look at that wave rolled all the way through out the back, so that could start happening this afternoon, too. Chris Amore, priority. Finding a line on this left. Up, over, but down. Again, no harm, no foul. Oh, that would have been a great score if she could have pulled that out. She really did. We'll see on the replay as she whips it on the inside. Look at her. She's not done yet. Why not? What's Carissa have for us? Big snap, fin throw, but the wave again gets a little, a little funky. We threw that thing in the fridge pretty early, and Wallstradamus, you were right with that prediction because we're going to see Carissa Moore move on into round number three here at the Vans U.S. Open.